Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 19 mistakes to avoid when buying an infrared sauna. We have found that there's a relationship between the amount of research done by a client and how, and how happy they are with their home sauna transformation. At Celebration Saunas, we make a genuine effort to provide as much reliable information as possible. We are excited about the prospect of your family owning a sauna, and the purpose of this article is to empower you with the informa information needed to help you decide which sauna is right for you and to avoid common mistakes when buying your sauna. When you are looking to install a home sauna, one of the first decisions you will have to make is what type of sauna you want. Do you want an infrared sauna or a traditional hot rock or steam sauna? What room of your home will you put your sauna? Do you need something built in, or will a standalone kit be a better, more cost-effective option? Most experts recommend that you obtain an infrared sauna kit for as many health benefits, space, versatility, and ease of use and maintenance. A hot rock or steam sauna can be structured as big as you want and be custom fit to your space, whereas an infrared sauna cannot be. When opting for a steam or a hot rock sauna, you also forgo the tremendous health benefits that only far infrared offers and an infrared sauna has the cheapest initial cost, making it ideal for those who want a sauna but don't have a lot of money to spend. A home infrared sauna kit works best for the majority of homeowners. Mistake number one, sauna types. Not choosing the sauna that is going to maximize your health benefits. Traditional saunas. Today, most traditional home style saunas use an electric sauna heater as it allows the choice of a dry or wet sauna. This is the most well-known style, still predominantly used in the United States, but fewer are being built each year due to the change in sauna technology. The traditional steam and dry heat saunas use convection heat, meaning that we heat the air and then heat the body. This type of heat only penetrates the body about 3 millimeters deep, and your sweat only contains 3% of toxins released from the body. You're familiar with convection heat in your own oven, and if you find it difficult to sit in a steam or a dry heat sauna as they reach temperatures near 200 degrees. Remember you can make a mean dinner roast at about 200 degrees in your convection oven. People who have stayed in this convection environment too long have died. There are many health benefits related to, sweat to sweating, otherwise people wouldn't be doing this for thousands of years. But today there is a better, safer way to sweat with prevent profound health benefits just not found in a convection heated sauna. Over the centuries, this type of sauna is known for its healing and detoxification properties, but with the advent of far infrared, the healing benefits of sauna have broadened and can be experienced more rapidly with longer lasting health impact with the use of far infrared. In a traditional sauna, many individuals with chronic conditions such as cardiovascular health are recommended to limit sauna sessions due to the intense heat stressing the body. This is not the case with far infrared sauna, and it is used in many hosp hospitals across the country specifically to treat cardiovascular disease. Near infrared is all around us today. We use it to control our TV or mouse remotely. Not until the 1950s did near infrared make its debut in its first industrial application for optical devices. In the 1980s, near infrared was focused more on chemical analysis and later became a powerful scientific re research tool. Traditionally, near-infrared was used in scientific laboratories and medical instruments for calibration, diagnostics, agriculture, food, and production of pharmaceutical compounds. Not until the first decade of the new millennium did near-infrared make its way into a sauna. Near-infrared light is closest in wavelength to visible light and is the size of cells. As near-infrared light penetrates the skin, um, it is theorized that it acts upon the water molecules of the cell to normalize pH. However, the human body does filter out and reflex near-infrared fairly readily, um, and long-time exposure to near-infrared results in aging effects like Baker's arm and glassblower's face and sometimes eye damage. Infrared in the form of, or near infrared in the form of a laser has been studied only in the last decade specifically for wound healing of the skin. There is also some evidence that it has a rejuvenation effect on the skin, um, but there are real no, no real published studies at this time as to the use of near infrared or red light therapy in a, in a sauna application. A near infrared sauna on the market today looks like a tent enclosure with a wooden stool and four to five red near infrared light bulbs. 
near-infrared bulbs can reach temperatures of up to 400 degrees. So in a sauna environment, you will experience some convection heat like with a traditional sauna. The near-infrared will produce a warming of the skin as it works on the water molecules and encourages the cell to regenerate. There are no indications or studies to support the benefits of near-infrared go beyond skin deep. As far-infrared studies and technology trickled around the world in the 1970s, the home far-infrared sawn ma made its way silently into the American marketplace. Around the mid-1970s, the first consumer-grade far-infrared sauna occupied the tiny slice of the now multi-billion dollar detoxification industry. Here, infrared saunas were largely ignored and only bragged about by their owners. They used dangerous ceramic tube heater technology to produce far infrared light. These heaters posed a safety hazard due to the heating and cooling of the ceramic material, would develop fine lines and cracks that could turn into cherry red charcoals. Only in the last 10 years have the new, safer carbon technology become available, which has revolutionized our entire sauna industry. Um, now you'll find that traditional sauna manufacturers now offer the line of carbon um, far infrared saunas due to the rapid growth and demand for this technology. Far infrared sauna technology produces radiant heat. Radiant heat warms a molecule directly in a properly calibrated far infrared heater of 9.4 microns. The light the light will act directly upon your cells, exciting them with vibration and energy to more efficiently carry out cellular function, functioning to an optimal level of homeostasis. In fact, a bandwidth of 9.4 microns of far infrared light is the, out, is the exact output of far infrared light the human body produces in the form of body heat. Far infrared light emissions measured at 9.4 microns are called biophotons. Far infrared biophotons, confirmed by Dr. Fritz Albert Popp, are the particles of light with no mass that transmit information within and between cells. His work shows that DNA in living cells stores and release, releases photons, creating biophoton emissions. These biophoton emissions are released in the form of far infrared light and are the power source of our cells. When we are in optimal health, we emit more light, and in poorer health, we emit less light. The infrared light produced by our far infrared sauna heater technology and in your own body is the mechanism for cellular communication and healing. Uh, Dr. Alam Albay, he's a quantum physicist, says the application of biophoton far infrared changes the body light excuse me, charges the body like a battery at the cellular level to speed up metabolic processes. Biophotons hold the keys to the quality of life of all living beings for detoxification and healing. Celebration Sauna's biophoton infrared technology is the most efficient means for infrared absorption into the human body, with 87% emission of 9.4 microns of biophoton far infrared. The application of biophoton far infrared light to the human body has an astounding number of health benefits. Doctors and hospitals around the country are using far infrared sauna to treat chronic conditions such as high cholesterol and cardiovascular health. Lyme disease specialists across the country are using far infrared to kill the Lyme parasite um, antibiotics can't reach. Cancer centers are treating patients with far infrared to detox residual toxic materials. Um, from their cancer treatments or their cancer drugs. They're also able to measure how fast a tumor can shrink in a far infrared environment. And um, especially when the, the cancer cells have a heat shock protein of 70 or less. So cancer cells with a heat shock protein of 70 or less die in a far infrared environment. Obes obesity specialists have um, associated inflammation as a root cause of obesity. Um, so there are more health advantages of far infrared than we can go over in this guide. But for the rest of us, we experience pain relief, improved mood, better sleep, more energy, and increased appetite for healthy foods, weight loss, or weight gain, depending on your body's mechanism to eliminate environmental toxins, improved immunity during cold and flu season, and maybe the most important benefit for my brothers and sisters over 40 are the rejuvenation effects of your skin. 
Your skin will feel amazing, soft and clean, and will appear younger as the primary cause of wrinkling and fine lines are the dead skin cells that accumulate in our common facial expression areas. So you will have beautiful, soft, clean, smooth skin. Um, portable infrared saunas. These are short-term investments for people who frequently travel and have already made infrared sauna part of their health regimen. These saunas are extremely portable and are often offered for $150 to $800 depending on the quality. You can purchase replacement heaters or components for these saunas and rarely do they have a warranty in excess of a year. They all use older far infrared technology that emits entire bandwidth of far infrared light between 5 and 15 microns in equal parts. And your body reflects all but 9.4 microns. Many of these sauna heaters lack the opposing EMF heater layer and lack the EMF shielding that contributes to their high EMF fields. Although you can experience some benefit from these saunas, it is important to consider the materials they are made from and the toxins these saunas can outgas. Plastics, foam, polyester can all outgas when heat is applied. Many of these types of saunas do produce high EMF levels that are over 100 milligauss in some areas. Due to the close proximity of these heaters and the electronic components to your body, you may consider purchasing a sauna with a lower EMF reading. Most of these units come with a small portable chair to sit in with your head and hands out of the sauna. We do lose a significant amount of heat from the top of our head, so your body is able to cool itself using the air temperature around it, so it'll eliminate, it will limit the amount of sweat production um, while you're using the sauna just because you're releasing heat from your head. Um, mistake number two, buying from a third-party reseller, not the, not the manufacturer. As celebration saunas grew in the industry, we came to understand that we were only as good as the saunas we sold and the support we could provide to customers long after their purchase. Early in my career, we did not always receive great saunas and sometimes not even acceptable ones. We needed to control our own destiny and we decided the only way to be the best fire and fried sauna company was to manufacture our own saunas. We had a clear vision of what a far infrared sauna should be for you, and we felt destined to make it a reality. We wanted a sauna we would want in our own home. So we partnered with Golden Designs Incorporated out of Ontario, California. Um, they allowed us to do exactly that. One of the things we love most about the partnership are the prices we can deliver to our customers and the freedom to pr provide all of our customs all the common industry accessories with a full lifetime warranty at a savings of over a thousand dollars when compared with our competitors. In 2007, Golden Designs started purchasing the Chinese factories that were constru constructing what would become our Maxis sauna line, our Dynamic sauna line, and our Golden Design sauna line. In an interview with Dave Davis, David Chang of Golden Design talks about the things he looks for in a manufacturer. He says, what we found when we visited China is that most factories just care about making a product and profit. They are not concerned with the safety and well-being of the end user. When new American importers enter into the infrared sauna industry, an inexperienced importer will ask the factory for lower prices. The factories are willing to use inferior form wood from Eastern Europe or China and false UL label electrical wires and electronic components to make their product, regardless if it's safe for the end user, all to drive down the pricing. What we did was ask how much for the best wood, the best electronic components, the best heaters. Still, we wanted more control over the actual manufacturing. It was an element, it was important to us uh, to design and maintain safe quality saunas and lead the industry in safety and quality. We design every element of our saunas with quality, durability, and safety in mind. As the largest infrared sauna manufacturer and importer of infrared saunas, your health and safety is our absolute number one priority. There is a reason we sell 12,000 saunas each year. We have the highest quality stand standards at the most affordable prices and um, he says, thanks to Celebration Sauna as an enviable customer service experience. Thank you, David. Um, the 10 thing uh, David Chang looks for when purchasing a manufacturing facility. One, does the manufacturer follow safety and high quality of manufacturing standards? Safety is our number one priority, and we would not be who we are today without that core value. Number two, what is the environment of the employees 
are working under. Unhappy and unsafe working conditions make it impossible to construct quality saunas. Poor working conditions and safety accidents contribute to manufacturing slowdowns. Our facility improvements prevent accidents, creates a healthy working environment, and improves the overall quality of our saunas. Wood quality is important to us. Oops, sorry, three. <laughs> Wood quality is important to us because we want to make the best sauna possible. We only purchase grade A, grade a quality wood from Canada for its wood grain properties. It is also free of wood burr holes. We inspect all raw materials arriving from Canada from the grade. The evenness and the age of the wood. Here is a picture of how we store our wood. So take a look at um, the article um, below this video and um, see see the comparison between our manufacturing facilities and some of our uh, competitors because it is appalling. It really is appalling. Um, you know, our competitors will purchase lower grades wood. They don't take care to inspect the wood. They dump it in piles. Um, sometimes outside we've seen them um, where they're kind of breathing in the toxic Chinese air and um, you know, those things can outgas in your sauna. So you'll see pictures of how we store our wood, how we kiln dry the wood, um, and how we kind of choose the, the proper woods for um, the saunas that we construct and making sure that, you know, you have a quality sauna that's going to last you the rest of your life. Okay, moving on. There's lots of pictures in here. Um, and it's basically the, the 10 things um, that David says he looks for. Um, he doesn't want anybody using broken framing. Um, to create the walls of your sauna. So there's some comparisons of how we frame our walls versus our competitors. Um, the excess glue that can be used on some of these saunas, um, the air condition of the, uh, the air quality of the, of the factories. Um, so all of these are important things to consider um, in the manufacturing process in order to make a quality safe product uh, for our customers. Mistake number three not identifying the highest quality heater that maximizes health benefits. The three types of far infrared sauna heaters. There are a multitude of different types of far infrared heaters for a multitude of applications. Infrared heaters consist mainly of passing a current through a material like ceramic or carbon, so the material is energized to radiate invisible far infrared light. Obviously, in a sauna, we want to look for the heater that most closely matches the human body's output of far infrared. We produce our own far infrared light in the form of body heat at exactly 9.4 microns. It makes sense that your body would have zero resistance to the body heat or to body heat, so you want to look for a heater that most closely matches the body. You want a heater that emits 9.4 microns of far infrared light, 80 percent of the time or better and having an understanding of each sauna heater technology will make your sauna heat heater decision um, easier easier so let's kind of go over the different types um, the three main types are ceramic steel ink alloy and carbon uh, ceramic infrared heaters were the first mainstream heater for sauna application um, as you recall in the 1950s. Um, this is the only infrared sauna technology that we had for more than 50 years. Ceramic infrared heaters are long skinny tubes um, that when we pass a current through the ceramic compounds of the sauna heaters they begin to generate intense heat. Ceramic material is a powerful energy conductor that allows ceramic materials to absorb and radiate infrared better than any other material. Um, ceramic sauna heaters are made in two ways. One is similar to a light bulb in, the sh in shape, and it emits light in 360 degrees around the bulb. Sauna companies um, using these heaters place reflective metal trays behind the heaters to bounce light back into the sauna room and metal face plates um, designed to protect you, the sauna user, um, from the intense heat coming off of those heaters. They can actually um, burn you and blister your skin. Uh, the same metal face plates um, that are supposed to protect you also block the far infrared that you're supposed to be getting benefits from. Um, ceramic heaters can contain elements such as cement and asbestos. Um, other types of ceramic heaters um, are made with a high glass content that use concave ceramic um, materials that are able to spread infrared wave in a 180 degree pattern. 
um, or they try, it's close to 180 degrees. Um, these ceramic heaters emit a bandwidth of far infrared light between 5 to 15 microns equally and can have a surface temperature between 350 degrees and 400 degrees. The EMF levels in these saunas are high due to insufficient EMF shielding and non-canceling wire and non-insulating metal surface. A significant problem with a ceramic heater in a sauna environment is that the heater gets too hot and can cause a blistering burn if you get too close to it. Um, as these heater a heaters age, they can develop fine lines and cracks um, that we talked about before that can turn into cherry red um, charcoals. Uh, these heaters need to be replaced every two years to kind of prevent that kind of fire hazard. Um, and I, I've seen personally that the charcoals that can develop on a ceramic heater actually scorch backrests, like scorch these, scorch them, black marks. Um, okay, so the EMF level in these are, are very high. Um, and there are, you know, safety hazards due to the high intense heat in a wood box. Um, and for this particular technology, um, a safety shutoff sensor, when these um, heaters break down or the, they start to develop these fine lines and cracks, um, it hasn't been, um, you know, developed. So we're not able to shut them off if we, if, if there's a problem. So they do have to be checked regularly. Um, the amount of heat coming from the ceramic heaters um, also creates a convection environment similar to traditional steam and hot rock. Um, this will limit your desired health benefits and um, your sweat production. Being too hot in the sauna will also limit your comfort and time spent in the sauna. Um, the bandwidth of far infrared light in ceramic heaters is wide. Um, it's equally between 5 and 15 microns is what the bandwidth of far infrared light is in a um, ceramic heater. So you're only getting a small slice of the 9.4 microns that you need to really get the health benefits from this. And then because of the convection um, coming off or the heat coming off of these heaters, um, you're getting more of a convection um, sweat rather than the deep penetrating sweat that's going to eliminate toxins from your body. The next type of heater you may see is the steel ink alloy rod heaters, similar to ceramic heaters in design. Um, steel ink alloy rod heaters are the least expensive heater at the manufacturing level. These are commonly made from ink alloy, steel, and silica sand um, that tends to short out um, screw threads, inserts that join the current uh, to the heater. These heater get, heaters get extremely hot and always have reflector trays to bounce light into the room and protect the surrounding surfaces, surfaces from a potential fire hazard. The downfall with this emitter is the high heat shortens the far infrared wave well below 5 microns. These infrared heaters are used mainly in commercial applications like curing paint, commercial food services, um, indoor and outdoor space heating. Um, Ink alloy rod heaters have short uh, lifespan, usually one to two years, and EMF levels are very high um, for the same reasons as the ceramic. There's no EMF shielding, non-insulating metal surfaces. Um, ceramic heaters and ink alloy heaters should never be placed um, at the um, on the floor of the sauna. Uh, the infrared light spectrum produced by ink alloy heat emitters is too broad to really maximize the effectiveness of sauna use. These are only used by a handful of manufacturers. I would steer clear of them anyway. Um, and the infrared heat, much like near infrared, um, does not penetrate the, the body very far. And in such low equal amounts of, far inf or of infrared, um, you're, you won't experience the health benefits that are really associated with far infrared sauna use. Um, the design of ceramic or steel ink alloy saunas also limits your body's exposure to direct infrared uh, coverage of the shoulders, neck, and head. And you really want to make sure that you maximize your cell to cell skin exposure to the biophoton far infrared light to maximize your benefits. Okay, so the last of the heaters is uh, far infrared carbon panel heaters. 
Today, not only are saunas standard equipment in gyms, health spas, and hotels, but infrared sauna therapy is regularly used in hospitals and university clinics. In the early 2000s, far infrared sauna bathing has developed into a regular form of treatment, complementing everything from physical therapeutic measures, cardi cardiac disorders, and circulatory uh, maladies, um, complementary cancer treatment, Lyme parasite treatment, mold toxicity, metal toxicity, even skin conditions. Um, when your body has all the energy that it needs, um, it does amazing things to bring itself um, to a level of homeostasis to make you a healthy person. So, um, your body effectively and efficiently absorbs um, far infrared light at 9.4 microns, exactly. Um, we our human body produces far infrared light at 9.4 microns in the form of body heat. The whole point of using any far infrared sauna is to absorb body heat. So it makes sense that if you charge the body with its own energy, your body in turn will have all the energy needed to bring the body to a level of homeostasis. In choosing your heater, you really want to maximize your health benefits in the shortest amount of time. So as you shop the many um, far infrared sauna companies, you'll want to ask, what is the bandwidth of far infrared light emitted from your heaters? You are looking for 9.4 microns at least 87% of the time. Our heaters emit 8 to 10 microns, um, and then 87% of the time it's at 9.4 microns. So there's a very, um, we've narrowed the bandwidth to a very small amount that your body does not reflect and can absorb readily. The shorter and longer waves of the far of far infrared 5 to 15 micron bandwidth have little or no health benefits as they are not absorbed as readily and do not pass as deeply as the proper 9.4 micron bandwidth of far infrared light. Carbon fiber, fiber heaters were a huge technology change in the sauna in industry that introduced a more even distribution of heat and solved the safety issues of overheating ceramic elements and hot spots. It also provided the proper bandwidth of far infrared light to maximize um, health benefits. Um, but it did eliminate some of the safety dangers like hot spots that could scorch the sauna walls and backrests. Um, the malleability of carbon meant that the surface area could be expanded for a fuller whole body coverage when positioned around the body uh, for cell to cell charging. Fiber carbon heaters also made sauna usage more energy efficient, costing owners half that of a traditional sauna. The introduction of fiber carbon panels presented a safer, more efficient way of delivering far infrared, more closely tuned to the human body. Many infrared ca carbon sauna heater panels on the market today um, are using the first carbon panel technology that was introduced around 2007. The first carbon heaters still used today are the least expensive. Um, this is the first generation of um, of carbon heaters. Um, they emit a band with a far and front light between 5 and 15 microns with a concentrated emission of the desired 9.4 microns approximately 50 percent of the time. In recent years, Celebration Saunas and Golden Designs have developed the new Biophoton nanocarbon heater technology that produces the desired 9.4 microns of light 87% of the time. So as you choose and research the multitude of different sauna companies out there, a good way to differentiate each company and the quality of their sauna heaters is to ask what is the micron range of your heaters. Um, types of carbon heaters. First generation carbon heaters, um, if the micron range is between 5 and 15 microns, um, you're looking at first generation. Um, these are made by impregnating carbon between two fiberglass sheets. Um, the EMF output in these can be over 100 milligrams, and the life expect expectancy of this older heater technology is about two years. The second generation carbon heater technology, the micron range is narrowed to 7 to 14 microns. These heaters are made from the same fiberglass as its predecessor, but uses instead a nanocarbon ink. Uh, due to industry demand, the EMF output on these heaters is significantly lower, ranging from 10 to 35 milligauss. Depending on the manufacturing specifications, it is a good idea to ask what the EMF levels are in your sauna. Um, or in the sauna that you choose. Um, you also want to know the life expectancy of these heaters. Um, for the second generation, the life expect expectancy is about five years for the heaters. 
third generation carbon heating technology um, and second generation nano carbon heater technology meet low EMF technology. The micron range um, has narrowed further to 8 to 10 microns and EMF levels are under 10 milligauss. These are the most common heaters used in home saunas. These carbon heaters are durable enough to last 50 years. The fourth generation and the newest heater technology are the new Biophoton nano carbon heaters. Um, if you're looking at a sauna, um, or a sauna heater that is 8 to 10 microns emitting 9.4 microns of far infrared light 87% of the time and the EMF levels are near zero or 0 0.3 you're looking at the newest biophoton nanocarbon heater technology available our biophoton nanocarbon heaters are thin wide and lightweight these heaters use all non-toxic materials have extraordinarily low EMF levels and are very energy efficient Biophoton nanocarbon sauna heaters are hospital grade where an EMF of zero is required as we do encounter EMF sensitive clients in that setting. Biophoton nanocarbon far infrared heaters are extraordinarily durable and have a, a life expectancy of 50 years. As you shop, you'll want to look for heaters that will maximize the peak human output of 9.4 microns of far infrared light. A biophoton far infrared sauna will allow you to sweat more quickly and signif at significantly lower temperatures as perfectly tuned far infrared light vibrates through the bo body, charging all the cells in its path. Far infrared applied to the water molecules of our bodies excites the molecule causing ionic bonds to break down and releasing encapsulated toxins. This same far infrared radiant heat increases your core temperature to an immune boosting low grade fever and an invigorating toxin releasing sweat more comfortably than you've ever experienced for a warm environment anyway that you sweat in. For us, end to end manufacturing means that we make our own heaters. Our factory produces our own biophoton zero EMF sauna heating panels instead of relying on third party, um, ensuring only the best quality non toxic materials are used. These biophotons are the foundation of how we have designed our heaters. We wanted a heater that would deliver you the most health benefits in the shortest period of time. We've made it our mission to produce a heater that creates the essential biophotons to heal your body from the inside out while still durable enough to last long into the future. The fruit of our effort is our exclusive cutting edge biophoton nanocarbon heater technology, um, which produces far infrared light at 9.4 microns 87% of the time. Our biophoton heaters are manufactured with seven layers of compression. This seals the carbon within the middle of these layers and lowers EMF output. We use an opposing EMF layer to the backside of the heater to negate EMF coming off of the front. Our home saunas emit 10 milligauss at the heater and 2 milligauss at the bench. Our commercial hospital grade saunas emit 1.6 milligauss at the heater and 0.3 milligauss at the bench. All of our saunas are constructed with the newest biophoton nanocarbon infrared sauna technology. And um, to make our saunas um, even safer, we further reduce EMF levels through the use of proper UL certified gauge wiring and heavy duty um, insulation, EMF shielding and steel enclosed electric. Elect mistake number four, purchasing a sauna without electrical certifications. The mistake of competitors using cheap wiring configurations that are not shielded um, properly and poorly insulated as well as thin gauge wirings not designed to hold up to the electrical load that the sauna will, will require um, light gauge wiring with thin insulation does not hold up well over time and you can expect to replace components that are overloaded. These new importers can also make the mistake of having unenclosed central processing unit, power converters, junction, bu junction blocks, and circuit board relays. Excess heat from unenclosed electrical components can dry out the wood. Open electronic components and wood box quite frankly equals fire hazard. Um, so just make sure that they have their electrical components in a steel box. Um, and if you can, get a picture of it. Um, manufacturing safe saunas is at the heart of what we do. I'm looking um, 
to see if electrical connections are up to um, ETL codes and standards for safety. We make sure all power supply heating panels pass ETL standards and codes. Uh, to make our sauna safe, we further reduce EMF levels through the use of proper UL certified gauge wiring with heavy duty insulation. EMF shielding and steel enclosed electrical components. How your sauna is wired directly affects the output of EMF. All of our saunas come with UL certified wiring and components. Um, we use the maximum number of 300 watt heaters in all of our sauna models. The more heaters in a sauna, the less wattage you have to distribute to each heater. So fewer large 300 watt heaters versus more 200 watt heaters provide more benefits when the available sauna wattage is the same. A sauna is only as good as the components installed, and there are certainly many sauna importers who currently find themselves in the same situation. I was in that situation years ago with no control over the manufacturing process or the quality of my products. Um, electrical certifications are important when purchasing um, a sauna. Laws require certification of electrical equipment for safety in many countries around the world and require that these certifications are found on every piece of electrical equipment. Electrical certifications assures that your sauna has been tested to meet safety and performance standards. Most of us don't notice the safety icons on nearly all of our electronics, but without safety agency listings, there's no proof that a product passes electrical and safety standards. So it's a good idea to take a look at them or to look for them. Although it's unlikely the risk of buying a non-certified sauna still exists, the far infrared sauna industry is relatively small and new in the United States. So new brands with inexperience in the international business can make critical mistakes when directing manufacturers uh, to make your sauna. Um, rookie mistakes can impact the quality and the safety of your sauna. So knowing how long a company has been in business and if they own the manufacturing facilities, um, knowing what electrical certifications they hold should be a consideration when deciding on which company uh, to purchase your sauna from. Uh, at Celebration Saunas, we provide our we pride ourselves on maintaining the highest quality and safety standards in the industry. And because we are committed to your safety as our number one priority, our cert certifications assure you that our infrared saunas have met a level of quality construction as well as safety and performance standards. Celebration Saunas is partnered with the largest American manufacturer of infrared saunas in the country. We own three manufacturing facilities in China and are importing 12,000 saunas each year. We keep an inventory of 4,000 saunas at any one time. As you compare companies, be sure they carry the appropriate safety certifications. Celebration Saunas have been tested and approved by safety agencies, and our saunas bear the CE and ETL certifications and UL testing results. Um, all of this can be found on our website, and um, those certifications are also listed in this article. So moving on, mistake number five, ignoring the EMF debate. From the time we all started using cell phones, EMF, EMF has been a controversial topic as to the biological effects of EMF on the body. It is easy to understand the confusion and the controversy as there are two types of EMF, ionizing and non-ionizing. Ionizing means that it has the ability to change DNA. Non-ionizing means it does not have the ability to change DNA. Um, I guess we get into examples further down. So here we go. Electromagnetic field makes up our universe. Everything in the universe is bound by a positive and negative charge. Bandwidths of these energy waves either have the ability to ionize DNA or not. Non-ionizing uh, EMF is safe and does not have the capacity to change DNA. EMF is everywhere around us. The electrical appliances we use, our computers, the wireless modems we find so convenient for accessing the internet, our cordless phones, the clock radios besides our beds, beside our beds, our hair dryers, cell phones, and even the wiring through the walls of our homes are constantly producing EMFs at much higher levels than what you'll find in an infrared sauna. We know that ELFs, or extremely low EMF, only found near high voltage power lines are ionizing and do have the ability to cause DNA changes. It's not uncommon to find tracks of people in these areas exhibiting high EMF exposure symptoms from depression to cancer. A sunburn is another example of ionizing EMF radiation. 
um, that we know can cause DNA changes. So extremely low frequency EMF um, is not ever found in a far infrared sauna. We don't manufacture UV light or ma uh, microwaves or anything that has the ability to change DNA in a far infrared sauna. Um, the EMF in an infrared sauna is non-ionizing and does not have the ability to change DNA. Extensive research over the past 20 years has concluded that there is not strong evidence supporting non-ionizing EMF exposure poses a health threat, although the current scientific evidence provides no definitive answers regarding EMF. There is not there is enough uncertainty that some people want to reduce their exposure to all EMFs. Why are low EMF and low ELF or EL um, extremely low frequency um, infrared saunas important? So why is low EMF and low ELF infrared saunas important? As the largest infrared sauna manufacturer and importer of infrared saunas, your health is our number one priority. Um, we use opposing EMF layers to the backside of the heaters to negate EMF coming off of the front to limit EM, any EMF exposure in our saunas. Our home saunas emit 10 milligauss at the heater and 2 milligauss at the bench. Our commercial hospital grade saunas emit 1.6 milligauss at the heater and 0.3 milligauss at the bench. Approximately 3% of the population are EMF sensitive and can experience memory loss, depression, loss of energy, irritability, inability to concentrate, weakened immune system, chronic fatigue, headaches, if this is you, it would be important to opt for a commercial medical grade sauna that has the ultra low or near zero EMF heaters. Um, in the article, you can see a comparison of the different types of saunas and their heaters and what the EMF range, range and rating is for each type. Mistake number six. Barking up the wrong tree. You don't want a sauna with toxic wood, soft wood, not suitable for structural integrity, woods with knots, or woods that absorb heat, making the sauna uncomfortable. There are many wood options available when purchasing a far infrared sauna. The wood your sauna is made from contributes to the quality and the longevity of your investment. Below in the article, you'll find characteristics of the various types of wood used to build most saunas um, on the market today. Um, this will help guide you toward the right wood um, choice for you. So Canadian red cedar is common wood for traditional saunas, but in a far infrared environment, we must kiln dry the wood to burn away any resins or oils that can outgas. In a properly constructed far infrared sauna, the cedar wood should not have the cedar fragrance that we associate with cedar chest or cedar closet. The cedar fragrance contains things like cedrine and terpenol, both of which can be sensitizing to the human body and cause a reaction over time. The primary focus of far infrared sauna technology is to eliminate toxins from the body, so we don't want to introduce new toxins um, into the far infrared sauna. Um, you know, that could cause inflammation or makes your body work harder to um, eliminate more toxins. Um, most of us are phasing out the use of cedar in a far infrared sauna. Um, those of us who do use cedar, and we do have a few saunas that have cedar, it's really out of tradition. It does make a beautiful um, piece of furniture. Um, but we really supply these for people who are accustomed to steam or hot rock saunas. Um, it does make gorgeous furniture, um, but it can be susceptible to scarring or indentation due to its soft nature. Um, cedar far infrared sauna kits um, can extend the life of your sauna when you're using the sauna outdoors um, because it is very durable and um, resists decay and um, insect and um, rodents. Um, hemlock also has um, those same properties. Cedar just more so, I think. Um, aspen is a hypoallergenic um, wood that wears without splintering. The soft sap wood has the lowest crushing strength of 4,200 pounds, a force which can lead to problems in the shipping process as it does not hold up well to pressure, and your sauna could arrive irreparably dented or damaged. Aspen is best used in an indoor dry sauna environment as it deteriorates it deteriorates in wet conditions and is susceptible to rot with heavy use. Aspen is not a suitable um, wood for steam or, or for outdoor use ever. Basswood can grow 90 feet tall with a trunk of 3 feet in diameter. It weighs about 26 pounds per cubic foot. Um, 
the wood has a tan color and in some cases can be nearly white. The sapwood characteristics fine grain is one reason basswood has always been the carver's wood of choice. A sharp knife or gouge slides through basswood like butter. Native Americans use basswood for carving masks. Um, its tough fibers will, were also used for cord, rope, and thread. Um, Basswood is, uh, has a whole a low hardness rating that makes it ideal for, hard to, uh, for hand tools. Um, it does not take stain, and it is used to produce boxes, yardsticks, crates, toys, um, and hidden furniture parts. Um, due to its soft nature, it is not recommended for structures like a sauna. Canadian Western Hemlock, thriving in the deep, damp forests of the Pacific Northwest and making up nearly 60% of the mature coastal forests of Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia. Found as far east as Monta Montana and as, south, as far south as San Francisco. Hemlock is the most beautiful of all other conifer. It ranges in color from creamy white to a yellowish brown with little variance in between. The sapwood is... Um, and hardwood um, have no variations in color. It resembles pine, but its wood is harder, stronger, resin-free, with straight fine grain that sands to a silky, reflective smoothness, making it popular for paneling, flooring, doors, cabinets, and furniture. Hemlock trees 500 years old can be as tall as 200 feet with a diameter of eight feet. Hemlock is the ideal construction species, not only for um, saunas, but for building much of America. Since the 1940s housing boom, hemlock lumber has been used in most wood frame housing because of its resistance to termites, its firm hold of nails and screws, and hemlock's ability to get stronger with time. It is one of the lumber industry's few resources of large, clear timber that has the ability to get harder over time. The strong nature of hemlock makes it resistance to surface scarring, making it an ideal wood for furniture products that must be shipped. Hemlock has no re resin, no fragrance, and is available in very large, not free dimensions. It weighs about 29 pounds per cubic foot air dried. Um, unlike Douglas fir, it won't easily splinter when machined against the grain. It's an all-purpose wood that grips screws and accepts all glues, paint, stain, or clear finish with more satisfying results than many of the woods we've discussed. The hypoallergenic properties of western hemlock um, its attractiveness, wear, resistance, ease of machining, and finishing qualities make it ideal for far infrared sonic um, construction. Um, in our manufacturing facilities, we only use grade A Canadian uh, lumber, and then we um, take the best of the best of that lumber that we've purchased, and we construct your sauna from it. As we narrow down the woods based on important properties specific to sauna use, we find that hemlock is the ideal choice. Avoid choosing a sauna made from knotty woods or woods known to expand significantly when exposed to water and moisture. Careful not to use woods that will absorb so much heat that the wood feels uncomfortable to, uncomfortably hot as the sauna temperatures rise. You don't want to use oak or hickory, magnolia, birch, elm, eucalyptus, sycamore. All of these are poor choices for sonic construction um, for these reasons, either knot holes or burr holes. Um, the grain is too much, um, but more importantly, they get uncomfortably hot. No stain, no oil, no chemicals. Whatever wood you select for a sauna room, be sure you leave it raw and natural. Any stain, chemicals, or oils applied to the interior wood can cause harmful toxins to, re to be released into the sauna room. Um, the primary focus of getting into the infrared sauna is for detoxification. So we don't want to use a wood that will outgas toxins or allergens during the heating and cooling of the sauna. We want a wood that is hypoallergenic, durable enough to hold up over time, um, and that maintains a comfortable temperature for a luxurious spa experience in the privacy of your home. Mistake number seven. Choosing an overly complicated assembly system, an assembly system that requires tools, or an assembly system that can affect your health. Before we began, began our ma manufacturing partnership, um, Celebration Saunas had installed over a thousand far infrared saunas from most of the manu 
major manufacturers in the country. I knew that we could leverage that experience when we partnered with Golden Designs to produce the most structurally sound, installation friendly, most efficient far infrared saunas available. And that's what we set out to accomplish. Coming from an installation background ourselves, we understand how frustrating it is how frustrating it is to spend countless hours trying to compensate for a sauna that is manufactured crooked or off level or having concerns that the sauna could break from being built too thin. We vowed that the first and foremost our saunas would be a pleasure to install. We made sure to use assembly systems that maintain the structural integrity of the sauna but also could be put together without any tools. Sauna assembly systems are critical to the customer experience and assembly of the unit. All our saunas are produced on an assembly line and all components are interchangeable. The best way to install a far infrared sauna is without any tools. All celebration saunas use a male female self locking wall guides. Self locking wall construction eliminates the most common far infrared sauna installation problems like uneven walls, unfinished wood appearing in the exterior of the sauna, or finished stained wood appearing on the interior of the sauna. Um, so we eliminate those problems with self-locking wall construction. Using a bolt and anchor construction, you run the risk of scratching your sauna, and using magnet construction, you run the risk of interference in medical devices such as pacemakers. Buckle assembly is often chosen for its simplicity. Without tools, you will secure the walls with the floor guides and line up the walls. Buckles will pull your sauna together and will give you a straight fit that won't have any stain lines or raw wood visible on the exterior associated with bolt assembly. Your sauna will allow for a per perfect assembly every time without tools. Some critique the aesthetics of the buckles, others like the character. The one thing for sure is that the buckle assembly is the easiest to both, both build and break down. Um, the locking assembly system uses a sliding male and female guides between the interior and exterior walls. Similar to other locking assemblies, the sauna walls easily click into place, leaving a seamless and perfectly aligned fit. Locking assemblies also do not require tools and uh, typically incorporate a buckle system at the rear of the sauna to create a more sturdy and aligned structure. The locking assembly allows for a clean sleek look so hardware appears invisible. Celebration Saunas uses both the buckle assembly and the locking assembly in our sauna models. Magnetic assembly systems um, we at Celebration Saunas do not use or recommend this assembly because the strong magnets magnets can interfere with the output of pacemakers and defibrillators. The risk of simply, for us the risk is simply too high. Many people who purchase a sauna are looking to improve their heart health. We don't want anything to get into the way of your health. We want you to be able to use your sauna well into the future. So if you're predisposed to a heart condition or have a, a valve replaced or pacemaker, defibrillator, um, Steer clear of a magnetic assembly. It can interfere with your func the functioning of these devices. Um, and your sauna should last you a lifetime. So choose the sauna that you'll be able to use comfortably um, and love looking at for the rest of your life. Bolt and anchor assembly systems. This is the only assembly system that requires tools. The bolt and anchor system requires that each screw on each wall must have equal pressure in order to for the sauna to align properly. Most saunas, the assembly takes minutes, whereas these screws take forever to be properly aligned. Um, in my case, I ended up circling the sauna to loosen and tighten screws for a perfect fit to eliminate stain lines. Um, I mean, it took 20 minutes to put the sauna together and an hour to, to get all the walls properly aligned. Um, as I was circling the sauna to tighten the screws, um, you know, you get impatient, you might scratch your sauna like I did. Um, and, and I did. You know, in that type of assembly, we don't use it because we don't want you to have to scratch your sauna. We don't want you to have to use tools. We will make this easy. So what does installation entail? Installation of, of the sauna once it has been received is to simply unbox the panels of the sauna and stage them in the room where the sauna will go. When assembly begins, be sure to review the assembly manual or refer to our sauna assembly video. Um, you will also start by laying down the floor far enough away from the wall so that you can move around the sauna. You will erect either the front wall or the back wall depending on the sauna model chosen and using male female guides to attach the side walls. Once the sauna is, uh, cabinet is full, fully assembled, 
you will need to place the roof on top of the cabinet. Here you will pull existing power cords and control panel connections available at the top of the walls through to the roof to connect to the power supply box. You will have three to eight of these connections depending on the size sauna chosen. Similar connections will be need to be made beneath the benches beneath the benches on the back wall. Um, once you've made these connections, you can install the bench, plug in the sauna, and begin uh, checking the sauna functioning. We've always been motivated to give our clients a great experience, peace of mind, and an infrared sauna that stands the test of time. Because of our efforts to consistently produce new and better installation practices, and because our desire to share what we've learned with the world, we've been recognized as thought leaders in the industry, especially with regards to far infrared sauna manufacturing. Mistake number eight, paying for shipping or liftgate service. First of all, this should be included. If they make you pay for liftgate, run away from them because um, if you don't use a liftgate at delivery, and they lower your palletize on where they lower your palletize on it to the ground. The problem is that then they're going to have to break the pallet down on the truck and drop the boxes off at the end of the truck. Hmm. I imagine there's quite a bit of damage with that. As a matter of fact, I know there's a lot of damage with that because I've done that. That's a mistake. So any company that you're buying from, you know, the pallet needs to, um, the boxes need to be standing up on end, um, so that they're not flat and stacked and don't get damaged while shipping. Um, and they, they uh, need to make sure that you, they give you a lift gate so that you can get it off the truck without getting damaged. Um, when you do get your um, sauna, uh, we, you should inspect the contents of the sauna. Um, at the very least, you want to make sure that um, you notate the delivery receipt and describe the packaging um, of any wear or tear or damage that you see on the sauna um, before signing your delivery receipt. Make sure you notate that if you if you accept it. At Celebration Saunas, you know, we encourage you to refuse any sauna that is damaged or broken um, or clearly a forklift has gone through it. We have 4,000 saunas. I will send you another sauna. <laughs> Don't take a broken sauna. It's not necessary. Um, so definitely protect your investment by, um, you know, notating the delivery receipt with any wear and tear that you find on your shipment. Number nine, uh, mistake number nine, not reading your warranty. You know, everybody has different warranties. It is important to figure out what, what everybody is doing. Most of us lift it, uh, or list the warranty on our websites, um, pretty readily. Um, some of them are hidden. For the most part, most folks have a five to seven year warranty. Because we're the manufacturer, we do have a full lifetime warranty and we pay for parts and shipping for as long as you own the sauna. Um, that includes the power supply box, the thermostat, uh, the light bulbs, the heaters, the control panels, everything that makes it a working sauna, um, we provide to you for as long as you own the sauna. Mistake number 10, choosing the wrong size sauna. The size of the sauna is important. It affects the appearance of your space and what other elements you can incorporate into that space. As you try to determine what size sauna you want, the first thing you'll want to do is determine what the sauna will be used for. Will it be used for long periods of time? Will, the, where, will there be more than one person using the sauna at any one time? Or will someone be laying down in the sauna? The next factor you have to consider is the shape and design of the sauna. Some people prefer corner saunas as they have the most bench space and are space efficient, taking only a corner of a room, while others prefer something linear. When determining the shape of the sauna, you have to take into account the size and shape of your room. Sometimes a corner or straight sauna works best in your space. If you want ample bench seating, a larger corner sauna may, be, may make sense for you. Taking accurate measurements and using masking tape to tape um, to measure out the floor dimensions and even sitting down in that space will give you a good idea of how your sauna fits in your room and also how it fits you. It's important to consider the obstacles placing your sauna in its final location, like short ceilings, hallways, and stairs. These considerations will narrow your choices to a size of sauna. Um, either one person, two person, three person, or larger. 
Um, it is important to note that you do need to walk around the sauna when you're putting it together. Um, and it does require a minimum of six inches above the sauna to make the required electrical connections. Um, once the sauna is assembled, the sauna can be pushed up against the wall and requires no ventilation. We do recommend that you leave access to the roof so the sauna can be easily service, serviced if repairs are required. A sauna size tip. Some manufacturers of far infrared saunas do not accurately list their sauna sizes. Some saunas may be off by six inches or more. Be sure to acquire a copy of the sauna specs to find out exact measurements. You can find our sauna specs on each sauna design page here at Celebration Saunas. We never misrepresent the size of our saunas because we know how much planning goes into selecting the right sauna for your space. Mistake number 11. Purchasing a sauna without knowing what electrical requirement is needed to run your sauna. It is not only important to consider the size of the sauna, but the available electricity for your sauna to use. All our one and two man saunas only need a standard household outlet, outlet and 15 amp circuit. Although not required, we do encourage you to dedicate a circuit to the sauna for optimal sauna operation. The power cord extends nine feet from the from the power supply box located on the roof of the sauna, um, just behind the door or above the door. Um, it plugs into a standard height outlet. Be sure that you can unplug your sauna. If you have the ability, I recommend putting the plug near the roof of the sauna for easy access. If your customer is looking for a larger sauna, our three and four person saunas require a dedicated 120 volt 20 amp circuit. This means they're will be enough space for the new breaker and there needs to be enough space for the new breaker in the breaker box to accommodate the electricity required to operate the sauna. Mistake number 12, buying accessories. Your accessories should come included. Um, many companies will have you purchase accessories such as backrest, oxygen ionizer, or color therapy lighting. At Celebration Saunas, all of our saunas include these accessories. We also um, equip our saunas with music um, that can be played either through an mp3 input or with an am fm radio or cd player with bluetooth capability um, we also offer free shipping with a full lifetime warranty where we pay for parts and shipping for as long as you own your sauna um, there is a link on this page that you can read more about our infrared sauna features and accessories mistake 13 making decisions solely based on price it bugs me that I even need to mention this, but alas, I guess I must. It always baffles me to hear customers say they want a great, great, super low price, but they also expect great, great quality and service. Huh? <laughs> say what? <laughs> There's an old saying I once heard. It goes something like this. All of your customers want you as a business to make money and turn a profit. They just don't want you to make money on them. This quote certainly holds true for some shoppers, but I find the majority understand that in order to deal with a reputable, steady company where quality and service are fundamental components in making and delivering quality saunas with lifetime service, then the company must make money. This means on all customers. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating that sauna companies should break the bank on every sauna and not earn their keep. What I'm saying though is that there will always, and I stress always, be companies available that will sell you a sauna for less. This is also why many infrared sauna companies go out of business. In the 10 years we've been in the infrared sauna industry, we've literally witnessed 50 far infrared sauna companies start and fold their businesses, and that is not an exaggeration. How would you like it if you'd purchase from a sauna from one of these companies? You know, price always has and always will be an important part of choosing your sauna, but make sure it's not your first priority. If it is, then you might find yourself being the next victim of a terrible far infrared sauna experience. Mistake number 14, not properly vetting the sauna company. Have you looked at their online reviews? Have you searched for any complaints against the company? Are they a member of the BBB and what is the rating? How long before you get your sauna? How are your saunas constructed? What is your warranty? What heater technology is being used? What is the wood thickness? What is the EMF rating? What accessories come with your sauna? Make sure you talk with the company and get answers to those questions.
Mistake number 15, not talking to the company that you want to purchase from. This be, may be the most important information in the article. Why? The sauna company you choose will make or break this whole experience. After consulting with literally thousands of far infrared sauna customers from all over the country in the past 10 years, we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of the far infrared sauna industry. All our experience regarding sauna companies can be summed up into one statement. Nothing can compensate for a poorly constructed sauna. The truth is that there are vast differences from one sauna company to another. You don't have to look hard on the internet to find horror story after horror story about some sh shady sauna guy. This is a smudge on the face of our industry, and it's why it's clearly your biggest decision. Um, this is also why it's critical It's critical to have at least a base understanding of the construction of the sauna and the installation process before you purchase so you know what quality sauna looks like and what questions to ask. Mistake number 16, working with a company with little or no inventory. Having been a small sauna importer myself, it is difficult to service your customers with the limited inventory. Low inventory prevents your sauna from being delivered in a timely manner or at an affordable price a significant and common problem for much of our competition. In 2014, we knew that partnering with the manufacturer of foreign infrared saunas would open the door to work with everyone and provide us with access to an annual inventory of 12,000 saunas. So all our customers receive their sauna in a timely manner. Our customer base is ever expanding and we're able to reach more and more homeowners and health related business owners every day. Mistake 17, hidden costs. Let's say your sauna, sauna company has just sent you a sauna. Naturally, you're very excited about getting your sauna and using it. You get your sauna put together, you go to plug it in and uh, the plug won't fit in the outlet. It's important to remember to check the electrical requirements your sauna will require before placing your order. What about taxes? Most out-of-state online companies won't collect or pay sales tax for your state. So weeks after you receive your sauna, you get a letter in the mail from your state to pay the state taxes on your sauna. These aren't always something, these aren't examples that are always discussed with your salesperson and we don't want you to become irate um, at having to fork out an extra $200 in taxes that you weren't planning on. So there are many scenarios um, that can become a reality every day and the purpose of this is we're just trying to avoid some of these. So you want to check the electrical requirement, make sure shipping is paid for, make sure you're getting the liftgate service, um, find out if you're going to have to pay sales tax or if the company is going to um, uh, pay your taxes for you. And don't pay for any add-on accessories if you can help it. Mistake number 18, focusing on the short term. Whether you're looking at it at the type, size, price, or any other component of your home sauna, you need to make decisions based on the durability of your sauna. This will Will this sauna last me the rest of my life or will I need to replace it after five years? Let's say a sauna shopper settles on a low cost sauna company and even though they really want a more expensive far infrared sauna, they do this because the sauna will cost them $300 to $1,000 less initially. Over the, next, over the next five years, they end up having to replace ex expensive parts on their sauna, like heaters at $200 a pop, power supply box at $1,000 a pop, or a control panel thermo and thermostat can both cost $100. At some point, parts begin breaking down so much that spending the money on a new sauna is more economical than spending the money on parts. Spending about $300 to $1,000 more, depending on the size of your sauna and heater type, makes residual expenses like sauna parts and replacement non-existent if you just get a far infrared sauna with a lifetime warranty from a reputable company in the beginning. Now, I submit this question. Did this person end up saving money at all in the long run? We all know the answer is a resounding no. And in fact, the consumer spent about $2,000 more over the course of a five-year period than they would have had they invested slightly more upfront for a high quality far infrared sauna from a reputable manufacturer. And finally, mistake number 19, not trusting your gut. Many of you who are reading the sauna 
buying guide at this very moment are getting ready to pull the trigger on a sonic company somewhere around the country. As you do your research, you will receive impressions about which sonic company, manufacturer, etc. to choose. Based on our experience, these feelings should not be ignored. I can't tell you how many people I've personally spoken to whom after the project went south and said something like, I had a feeling, but for a reason, I decided not to, and now I wish I had. This is not the most scientific approach to buying us on a, but there are tremendous differences in the companies and and manufacturers. If problems arise with your sauna, which they can, you have to rely on the integrity of the company to fix your sauna and support you long after your purchase. Do your best to ensure they are worthy of that trust and that and you'll likely be fine. That brings us to the conclusion of the mistakes to avoid when buying your sauna. We genuinely hope it has empowered you with the tools you need to make a sound decision um, in purchasing your sauna, and we wish you the best of luck and happy sweating. If you have more questions about celebration saunas, um, feel free to give me a call. My name is Katie at 855-728-6248. And um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.